Lives of Our Saints. This coming day, our church celebrates the feast of Saint Polychronios. The following are some thoughts on his life and works. Polychronios was born in the fateful 4th century in a small farming community not far from the Byzantine capital, Constantinople, a city which, because of his attachment to the land he tilled with his father, he did not come to visit until he had reached manhood. His entire early life and youth were spent on his father's farm and he had no wish but to work the soil and be at peace with the world. His closeness to nature brought him an awareness of the wonders of the Creator and the more intimate he became with the life-giving processes of the earth, the more intimate he became with God, with the result that he felt the call to God's service. With the blessing of an understanding father, he finally gave up his beloved fields and flocks in exchange for the austerity of the service of Christ. The regimen of the preparation for religious order was a far cry from the carefree roaming of his father's fields, and he was sorely tempted to abandon the city to return to the countryside. He did return to his beloved vineyards, but not, however, until he had completed his studies, been ordained a priest, and served with considerable dedication in one of the many parishes of Constantinople. He considered it his finest hour when he returned to his village, armed with ecclesiastical honours and enough money from a benefactor to build a small church so sorely needed by the rural faithful. In the village, Polychronios had a strong report with his congregation, not only because he was one of them from birth, but because he had an understanding and compassion which was genuine. His sermons were not of the fire and brimstone variety, but concerned themselves with the relation of God and nature to man, particularly the man who tilled the soil, raised the flocks and tended the vineyards. His small church was fully attended on each Sunday, to the extent that he was cited by the patriarchate for his success and sought after by fellow priests anxious to learn the secret of how he so magnetized his villages every Sunday. The secret of Polychronios was a simple de- dedication to duty, which he Envinced seven days a week in the name of the Lord, and so immersing himself in all aspects of the village life, that it was not only an affront to God to be absent from service on Sunday, but a rebuke to the friend who was virtually a member of every family in the area. It was perhaps this total dedication which stoked the fires of evil in the hearts of a very small group who were to take opposite sides in a controversy of a church dogma known as Arianism, a heretical concept which reared its ugly head in AD 325. The voice of Polychronios was raised against Arianism, perhaps not with the eloquence of the great Athanasios, but with as much fervor and equal concern for the destiny of Christianity. A few fanatics in the community who clung to Arianism were incensed at the parish priest's attack on the heresy of Arius, the proposed 